So there's a few medications that aren't available in veterinary medicine, especially when it comes to our primates. With our orangutans in particular is what triggered this relationship is there was an antibiotic that I wanted to use to treat our orangutan and we just couldn't find it in our veterinary suppliers. And since it's used in the human field, we reached out to Parkview and they were able to help us out. So it's not unusual for the same drugs that we use in humans to, to use in animals. From our perspective, obviously we're a large hospital, take care of a lot of patients with a lot of unusual medical needs. The zoo, not quite so many patients, but certainly an equal number of of unusual needs and when something comes up that, that she doesn't have in stock and she has an immediate need for it she reaches out to us and we check to see if we have it and get it for her. So besides the orangutan that I'm treating with some nebulized antibiotics you see our penguins right behind us they're actually on anti-malarial drugs same drug that you would use as an anti-malarial in people even though we're treating a different parasite that's specific to our birds. We keep uh, pretty significant inventory of antibiotics, drugs used in respiratory diseases, skin diseases, any number of needs we keep on hand pretty routinely. Something the size of the zoo, they really don't have that same luxury or anticipated need to be quite honest for you. So that does make a pretty good chance we're gonna have what they need. Even though my, my first goal was to get the one specific medication, one antibiotic for our male orangutan. It has grown slightly and in, in that, it, one, it's a cost savings, but it's also convenient. And we love relying on a great partner like Parkview. So now we get our contraceptives for our female orangutans. They're on birth control just like people. Now we get some other medications for our goats on the farm because they've got some immune mediated disease processes that we manage. So I'm sure there's gonna be more situations that come up with 1,500 animals in the zoo and there's always a surprise for me, a new challenge on what they present with me clinically. Parkview as a nonprofit, uh, the zoo as a nonprofit, I think there's a natural alignment in maybe not specific word for word mission, but in community benefit mission. And the zoo, I think, is just a natural alignment with Parkview. I am just very grateful at one, how accommodating the staff was, how quickly um, the partnership formed, especially in the pharmacy, but other departments have helped us out as well. Parkview's just been a long-standing supporter of the zoo, and it really is helpful on multiple levels. Whether we went there when we were kids, which I did, um, took my kids there, which I did, have been there with my grandkids, which I did, you know, I mean, you, didn't, you don't have to be there very long to realize how much joy the zoo brings to the community. Being able to provide the community with a place to connect with animals and learn about our conservation efforts, I think is important and a big part of that is having healthy animals here. We definitely want all the animals to live long, healthy lives here for their benefit, but also for the visitors.